If I quit using tobacco, how much does it reduce my chances of getting an oral cancer? Tobacco use remains one of the most important risk factors for the development of head and neck cancer. Not only is tobacco associated with a number of other cancers, including lung cancer, it has a strong association with cancers in, of the head and neck in all of the different areas. The risk reduction when stopping smoking will depend on how much someone has smoked and the particular area of the head and neck. But it's generally been shown that within 20 years of stopping, your risk of developing a head and neck cancer is that of somebody who has never smoked. And within one to four years, your risk decreases by 30 to 40 percent.